making some really good art on the camera. Mm. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for coming out for our 9-11 remembrance. Uh, 22 years today. Um, we'll go through our presentation at 10 o'clock, but I wanted to thank you for coming out again and sharing, sharing the time with us. Uh, just before we get started, just remember uh, all the lives that have been lost since 9-11, the folks that were on the pile, uh, first responders, uh, police, fire, EMS, all the folks that have worked so hard for that and those lives we've lost. Also, I just ask you to remember all the folks that were impacted and, and killed on all those flights that occurred. So while we have a lot of 343 of our brothers and sisters and police officers, and just don't forget all the other ones that, that perished in that horrible day. And our department, we will never forget as long as I'm here. And I'm sure it'll be the same way after I leave. So thank you for coming and we'll be starting in a minute. One more thing before we go, I would like to introduce Captain William Dunn, retired from the Amherst Fire Department. He will he has stepped in on our behalf as our chaplain for the day to do a prayer. So thank you to, to him for stopping and up with it for that for us. We really appreciate that. Attention! have one minute of complete silence.
and then one more short prayer. But to start, I'd like to read uh, a prayer in time of loss of loved ones by Father Michael Judge, who was a fire department of New York chaplain and was loved by everyone. And that's a tough group to be loved by. Sadly, he was the first victim of 9-11 as he gave last rites to a firefighter. God is present, loving, smiling, having received our loved ones. There in his presence, illumined by his smile and warmed by his love. His kingdom is enriched this day, so enriched by so many beautiful souls. Our world is empty without them. Our hearts are broken, our sadness immense, our tears so abundant. We need you, Lord. Please come and touch us. Fill us with courage. Calm our discomfort. Give us signs of your presence. We ask you, we beg you, come. Amen. The Firefighter's Prayer. When I'm at call to duty, wherever from flames may rage, give me the strength to save a life, whatever be its age. Help me embrace a little child before it is too late, or save an older part person from the horror of that fate. Enable me to be alert and to hear the weakest shout, and quickly and efficiently to put the fire out. I want to fill my calling give the best in me, to guard my every neighbor and protect his property. And if according to God's will, I must answer death's call, bless with your protecting hand, my family, one and all. Amen. And now the police officer's prayer. Lord, I ask for courage. Courage to face and conquer my own fears. Courage to take me where others will not go. I ask for strength, strength of body to protect others, and strength of spirit to lead others. I ask for dedication, dedication to my job, to do it well, dedication to my community, to keep it safe. Give me, Lord, concern for others who trust me, and compassion for those who need me. And please, Lord, through it all, be at my side. Amen. I'd like to add a quick prayer that uh, the Chief touched on. Lord, please watch over all of the, the personnel from 9-11 who to this day are sick and many are dying from 9-11 illness. And watch over their families. And Lord, we thank you for a beautiful day to come out and to give our thanks to you and to all who lost their lives. Amen.
Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate you coming out again. Feel free to stick around and chat if you'd like, or <laughs> go back to work. But thank you again. Thanks, man. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, sir.